Hey everybody, it's Matt here with Flytrap Store, and uh, I wanted to do a little video on my Venus Flytrap collection. This is my personal collection of flytraps here, and uh, they're about to enter full flowering, and they've got their spring traps up, which for some clones, the spring traps are the best of the year, so I thought I'd share some, uh, some spring growth here. Uh, they'll do a stall, that's typically the, the it's kind of the cycle that flytraps go, and they'll put out some really nice spring traps, shoot up a flower stalk, and then they'll stall growing for a little while as they recover from expending all that energy. Um, it does help if they get fed or catch some food to keep growing, but um, they'll pick up speed again, and then usually they look their best by late summer. But uh, they're looking pretty good right now. Um, so I was just gonna walk through the collection. Uh, I'll start here. Um, well, this is the A's and I'll go, I guess I'll actually, let's start over here with the um, fairly new acquisitions. These were acquired last March um, from Green Jaws and Carnivoria. And um, some of these guys are looking really nice. This is a new one to me. It's a giant G1. It's a beautiful deep red plant. I think it might be the parent to uh, all the G series, the 14, 16, 17, which G17 is mega traps, but the color and size of this plant is just amazing. And the bulbs on these things, the rhizomes were just huge when I repotted them. Um, oh, that's the other thing. A lot of this collection has been recently repotted, so they're not really fully settled in again and looking their best, but they are looking pretty good. So uh, anyway, Nosferatu from Green Jaws. I really like this clone. The traps on it are just immense. Just nice, big, colorful traps. Uh, right next to it is Montecore, one of the cashew-shaped traps clones, and uh, it's putting out some pretty good-sized traps this spring for me. It was just a little tiny plant last year. Um, Hellcat right here, also getting decent size to its another cashew-shaped trap clone. Pretty cool-looking plant. What else do we have? Here's Ramon. Sorry about the focus issues. I gotta keep tapping the screen to get it to focus. But Carnivoria clone, Ramon from Dalvi Svark. This is Mephistoles, nice big spring trap on that guy. It's a really cool looking plant too. Good color, uh, interesting teeth. It's a really nice plant. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Dense, another giant. I didn't realize this thing would get this large. But the teeth are kind of uh, reduced marginal spines, very short teeth on it. Pretty cool looking plant. Uh, Dambala, I like this werewolf clone. Right behind it, my favorite all red werewolf. I really need to get this one propagating. This is just a beautiful little red werewolf clone. Hanny, WTW, that means with thanks to wife. Over here we have Ramis, another really awesome cashew shaped plant. I just love this plant. It's so vigorous too. Most of these cashew shaped clones don't grow very fast, but this one does. And I'm going to let it go to flower this year and hopefully I can get some seed. I'm going to try crossing it and I'm shooting for perhaps a all red cashew shaped flytrap. That would be pretty cool, I think. Um, Asmodeus is looking pretty good up here. Here's the new one from us. This is one I grew from seed. Loopy mirror, Leah and I decided to call it. Very cool plant. Come on, focus there. Just a really cool plant with all kinds of crazy, crazy traps on it. Uh, this is one of our new releases here too. Tiny Red Terror. Kind of elongated, all red fly trap with uh, mint to lime green leaves. Really cool little red microdent basically, but uh, kind of elongated trap so okay let's move over to the main table over here um, let's see it's all red giant from carnivoria super impressive plant really nice dark red almost as big as maroon monster which we'll get to in a little bit here but I'm really enjoying it and I'm gonna let it go to C2 probably use some of that pollen to uh, to pollinate the um, cashew shaped traps uh, I've got alien and Ramis flowering this year, so we'll see if we can get some interesting clones. Here's another all red. This one's from Carnivores and More, and I'm not familiar with that nursery, but I really like this plant. Um, all red Fused Tooth. I think this is also a Carnivoria clone. I got, I got it a few years ago. 
letting it go to seed for the first time this year. Nice big flower stalk on it. Um, this is the African werewolf. This plant is really awesome. This, these specimens in my mother pot really aren't primo compared to what we have in stock right now. I should show you the inventory, but they're down the hill in the new big greenhouse, which you actually have plants in now. Okay, what do we have? The 1955 clone from Bob Zemer. Uh, Clayton's Volcanic Red over here. Oh, boy. Yeah. Incredible Red Hulk. Just a monstrous plant. You can spot that one from quite a ways out. It's just a nice, nice, beautiful, big red fly trap with... I love the color on the, the traps. Just a nice, beautiful plant. Currently my favorite red saw or red fly trap. Got Archangel back here doing its thing. Looking pretty good. It'll color up as it ages. Diablo Rouge, an upright growing red sawtooth or red uh, microdent plant. GJ Giant Kudo, freaky little dude. I love this one. I'm letting it go to seed for the first time this year too. Be interesting to see what kind of uh, seedlings we can get from it. Bloody Nurse, which I've only had a couple years now. I really need to uh, get it propagating too. Um, I've got some flowering cacti here. Love the flowers on cacti. Look at this big boy. <laughs> Sorceress. What do we got over here? Green Dragon. I love the all reds. And right next to it is Groon. This is probably the best all green fly trap. Mine, Mother Pot. Fairly recently repotted, so it doesn't look that great right now, but it's a really awesome plant. Trust me on that one. Um, Microdent times wine rod, a nice one we grew from seed many years ago. Ooh, lucha pots. Looking pretty, pretty vigorous right now. This is the largest traps I've ever seen on lucha pots. It's a really cool looking plant with the, the fused distal end and uh, good color on the traps. Um, Backing up a little bit. I missed a couple of freaky ones over here I really enjoy. You got long red fingers. Really cool plant. Korean melody shark. And backing even farther up to the bees, I missed Boomin's Mutant, which is also flowering this year. I will probably let it go to seed as well. Kind of like a Pac-Man. I'll show Pac-Man, but Boomin's Mutant. Kind of like a Pac-Man style clone. But sometimes if you look, see here, uh, the smaller plant there has almost normal looking teeth on it. So it's kind of unpredictable. It's not like 100% stable, but it does really good keeping the uh, toothless look to it most of the time. And down here, I just repotted Pac-Man yesterday actually, so he's looking a little, little haggard, but that's Pac-Man. Really nice toothless clone. Okay, my big mother pots. Look at the flower stalks. The maroon monsters are just starting to open. A lot more on the way. Looks like the first royal red flower opened back there. Uh, royal red looking really nice this year. Just a jungle of traps in here. There's DCXL coming up here in the foreground. Nice big trap on DCXL. Kronos, probably the best giant fly trap in my opinion, both in terms of color, growth habit, and trap shape. Steve Doonan did a great job breeding this guy. Fine tooth times red, one of the most underrated fly traps there is. Beautiful color, super vigorous, uh, great seeder. They, these flower stalks will produce a lot of seed. Next to it is Low Giant, also a really, really nice clone. Um, behind Low Giant, this tray or this pot here, I can get in there between the flower stalks, is Whip Snapper, which is. The original name clone it's hard to see it but that beautiful trap right there trying to get between the flower stalks it rivals dcxl in terms of size and vigor on the spring traps it's just gorgeous i really need to get that one going too propagating it's a really awesome clone fts crimson sawtooth really nice probably the best red sawtooth clone uh, i'm a little partial of course but i think other growers agree that it's one of the best out there uh, Royal Red again, Big Mouth, another pot of Crimson Sawtooths, and Mother Pot of Alien, going to seed, flowering, 
and uh, my pollinating stick. And this is FTS Lunatic Fringe. Looks like this flower needs to be pollinated. A lot of these are, this one, this maroon monster flower is just full of pollen. Got to get that one spread around. So let me make a way around to the last table. Um, ooh, purple haze. Don't want to miss that guy. Another beautiful all red fly trap. Lots of flower stalks this year on purple haze. Okay. Lucha pots again. Ooh, phalanx. Let me give it a quick show on that guy. GJ phalanx. Look at those teeth. Just ridiculous. I love this plant. Nice job on that one, Matza. Okay. Sliding around. Quick look at the cactus flower. Beautiful. Okay. Last table. Last few flytrap clones. Here's Shoop and Steel doing its thing. I love this plant. The teeth on it are ridiculous. The scaling, just awesome looking. I'm going to let a lot of these go to seed and do some pollinating. Um, red shark back here. Recovering after flowering. Snip the flower stalk. Ooh, this big boy. Reader Giant 3. Another one I still need to get propagated. It's a sulking a little bit after flowering, but uh, one of the better ones out there. This is the only one we've really mass propagated so far, and that's Reader Giant 1. 2 is behind it. I just recently repotted, not looking its best yet. It's also a really nice giant fly trap, but Reader Giant 3 looking pretty good right now. Nice big, big traps on that. Um, what do we got back here? Triton, one of my favorites, easily identifiable with the fused distal in. A lot like Lucha Pots, but uh, definitely distinct in its yellowness color. And then, this is one we grew from seed, Trichterfall times Coquillage. And it mostly got its genetics from the mother plant, Trichterfall, but you can see the, the scaling on that is pretty pronounced. So I'm going to let these go to seed, try to use it for pollinating, shooting for maybe an all red Shoop and Steel. I know there's one in existence somewhere, but... Um, wouldn't mind having our own clone of that. And then finishing at the very end of the alphabet, also one of the nice plants here, uh, Wine Mouth. Been growing this a few years now. It, it really does get some pretty awesome color. There are other few other fly traps that rival it, but um, it is a beautiful plant for sure. If you grow it under artificial lighting, it's ridiculous the kind of deep red it can get. Well, maybe a couple more. Just uh, <laughs> tricked your fall. I love those pitfall traps. And the scaling on the leaf. So cool. I'm letting that one go to seed too. Um, ooh, whip big red snapper. Another giant fly trap selected by Bob Hanrahan. Really nice plant. Let's see. I guess that's about it. So video is at 13 minutes now. That's enough fly traps for today. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And um, we'll see you next time.